Psalms chapter 13 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. How long will thou forget me, O Lord? Well, for the for the twelve psalms that we read so far, and well, the, in the Lord I put my trust, and in the Lord, and this one starts off. How long will you forget me, Lord? Again, it's it's human nature to think that you know where is God, and it's wrong to think like that, but we do. In our trials and tribulation, we wonder where God is. And sometimes the answer to our prayer is not now or no. Again, these are psalms. These are hymnals in your Bible. These are to be sung. How long will thou forget me, O Lord? Everyone's felt like that. Forever? Not forever. Seems like it. How long will thou hide thy face from me? Now, David's never seen God's face, but, you know, that's a closer relationship that he had with God. It's like looking upon God. Like Abraham was called a friend of God. And notice how David's saying that the Lord's turned on him, and the Lord hasn't. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? So what he's going through is every day. And it's not just one day daily. It's trouble upon trouble. How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? So something that David's going through in his life is there are people who are overpowering him. Maybe Saul. I mean, that was a long, long battle. How many years did that take place? Before David finally got the victory over Saul and got the kingdom. I mean, Saul would call thousands and thousands of men after David. Consider and hear me, O Lord, my God. He, he's saying that God's not listening to him. And again, in your life, you'll have times you'll have prayers like, God, ain't you listening? O Lord, my God. Light in my eyes. Well, maybe, Lord, I don't see what you're saying. I don't see what you're doing. Lord, show me. If you're working in my life, Lord God, show me what you're doing. Give me some kind of sign. Give me some kind of thing that, yeah, Lord, you, you're not far from me. Maybe you're doing something I don't see. At least I sleep the sleep of doubt. Let my enemy say, excuse me, least my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. Lord, if you don't answer, the, these, the enemy is going to cause me to die, and they're going to have the victory. And those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. Well, Absalom was rejoiced when he moved his father out of the kingdom as they ran. Saul was, was, was kind of rejoiced in a way. Every time he went after David to go get him, and David would take off and move on him. You know, there are sometimes, I guess, in my own personal life, that when I left the church, they probably rejoiced and had a good time. That's a shame. You know, the whole world rejoiced when they put Jesus up on the cross and he died. But I have trusted in thy mercy. The only thing you can trust. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. He's seeking the mercy of God in his troubles. And with all my troubles, I will sing unto the Lord. Because he has dealt bountifully with me. Now, even though I don't think God's hearing me, although I've got the enemy overpowering me, and all I'm doing, I'm going to trust you, God, in mercy. My heart is going to rejoice. The Bible says that Paul writes to the one, Rejoice evermore. In everything, give thanks. Even in troubles, even in pain, yes. And I will sing unto the Lord. Now bring joy to your heart, singing to the Lord. And he may get pleased in what you sing to the Lord. And may come even answer even quicker. 
And think of all the bountiful things that God has done for you when you feel like he's not answering you. When you feel like he's forgotten you. Count your many blessings. That's what it's saying. And name them one by one and you'll, you'll get out of your pity party. And you'll see that God is on the throne and God is righteous and God is taking care of you forever and ever. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died.